<laughs> and, I, I need to go back and tango with that bastard. <laughs> the, the track ball. I might be able to play it. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Maybe. I mean, that, 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 uh, that's like the one game that actually works better with a track ball than a regular right. mouse. Welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how-tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. I'm Vince Stone here at LGC Actual, switching the bits, doing the Nightmare Fuel all under Linux, joined every week by our slightly engorged Canadian podcaster, Jordan Sven. <laughs> Maybe if we get lucky, if we cross our pinky toes, this camera will genuinely just die halfway through the show for no reason. Yep. Um, stay up late. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm a blue man group. <laughs> you know him. You love him. Pedro Mateus, the man on the island, <laughs> and together with you at home, Shot Realm Dynamic, helping us form Cocaine Voltron. I got to come up with a thing. I was going to do the graphic. Ah, dang. I forgot. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> boys and girls, we do have a big show for you tonight. Uh, a little bit of catch up. Uh, Pedro's got to squeal a little bit. He actually, Pedro is so excited to tell you about something. He filled in the show notes. So, you know, <laughs> he's going to be like vibrating. With it was pump. about 10 minutes before we went live. But yes, I technically uh, submitted those four words to the thing. <laughs> Technicality. Well, uh, two acronyms and a couple of words. But yes, uh, you may remember that I've mentioned uh, mostly on the uh, Wednesday show that uh, I ordered a Pie Boy DMG back in September. It's finally here. <laughs> Yeah, no, that took slightly over two months, um, and uh, yeah, no, it, it it actually does work. Where's the uh, switch? There it is. And uh, yeah, it's a Raspberry Pi, so it takes a little, a little bit to boot, uh, but it plays everything because the Pi 4 is stupidly powerful. I'm pretty sure if uh, RetroArch had a... Um, PS2 core, it could actually play PS2 games, and I changed the uh, the boot logo to look like the PlayStation one. Nerd. But, yeah. <laughs> Sony's the, gonna sue somebody, as is Nintendo. <laughs> it says Experimental Pi, and yeah. Uh, yeah, no, it it's actually really nice. Uh, the battery life doesn't last all that long. It's only like um, a 4500 milliamp, uh, 3.7 volt battery, so you get about with the uh, default settings that the um, experimental Pi image comes with, you get like three and a half hours of battery playing Mega Drive games. Uh, I gave it to Nori to play, what was it, Sonic? She went through Sonic 1 and um, started Sonic 3. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, it It's nice. The, there will be a review when I have a little bit of free time. So, yeah. <laughs> What's new with you, Jordan? Oh, mm -hmm. I, I mean, th things are going on. Still shopping around for gym equipment. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, because it, it's like, oh, yeah, we're going to shut everything down for a month. And then record high cases in Ontario means that it's going to stay <laughs> shut down forever again. Oh, uh, yeah. So been doing that. Keep, been keeping on with the uh, world building streams. I designed a dungeon on Friday. That was fun. Uh, Kyle Linux joined me for that. So that was that was right good stuff. On. Um, yeah, dicking around with Jack and Ardour and trying to wrap my brain around that. It's and pretty easy. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not, it's not, it's not too bad, but there's like get, getting it to that right spot. I need to like train my brain to understand what the right stuff is. We right? were talking about that in the pre pre super shows and, um, go back and yeah. listen to it. But yeah, there, there's you, stages of like setting up audio and there, there's a definite danger in chasing that dragon. I'm like, Oh, mm -hmm. I gotta get to the new. You finally get it. I'm like, fuck it. It's good enough. Um, yeah. speaking of good enough, that, that is most certainly something this Microsoft product is not gentlemen, brace yourselves. I'm going to say something negative about Microsoft. I think I found a flaw in something Le Microsoft shock. has done. <laughs> <laughs> If, if I had my monocle, it will have ejected at, like, Mach 2. <laughs> my god. Just crack. Just sorry, don't do it. It just, just shatters into dust and just blood shoots out of my eye. Acceptable as well. Um, this is the, what did we determine? This was the Xbox One S? One. Yes, because mm -hmm. that has the Bluetooth. Yeah. Yes. That I bought uh, to replace my old um, Xbox wireless controller. And this is a not new, new one now, but to me, this one's new. I've had it for about a month, maybe right out a month. 
don't play a lot of games, but I have been playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey, trying to get that working and just playing around with it. And I'm clicking hard as I can. It wouldn't do anything. This right bumper has gotten, um, I, I, the word intermittent is the word I used in the description. I, I, I was going to say kaput. <laughs> well it's on that, Jim. Well on its way to kaput. And I, I thought to myself, I'm like, oh no, because I always worry about like just putting too much like gur into stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, was this, was this my fault? Because in, in its defense, I was playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey, which Ubisoft, light attack, heavy attack, light, you know, right? Mm-hmm. Ah, the Dark Souls uh, thing. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, maybe I wore it out. How long have I been? It, it's a BS number. It's probably like 20 hours. Uh, but according to Steam, I have 31 hours into this game. And started getting all jacked up. So, you know, fortunately, I bought it from a overlord Amazon. And Amazon's like, I got you found other ones in the mail. I'm like, cool. All right. I'll just put a little sticker on that and you can have it back. Decided when I get back home today. Once this other one would show up, just out of curiosity, you know, I have other controllers. This is not make or break uh, next month. <laughs> because, yeah, yeah, it took me so long to buy this thing because uh, it was never in stock on, reg- mm, on the yeah. regular times, you know, when the dark times began. But now we're in the holidays of the dark times, so. The darker times. <laughs> the darkest times, even. Yeah, I, I will have darkest. sent this back and they will have confirmed it before. <laughs> More than likely, they ship the replacement. So, good job, Microsoft. Another. Oh, that's another thing I want to point out. Don't you? You do feel a little bit better when you start Googling your problem on anything and just like, oh, this is a problem with these. Okay. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> that, right that, right that, bumper, that, too. That bump- yeah, mm. <laughs> yeah. I, I know. I know the the switch has some problems, especially with like the right Joy-Con. It will desync sometimes. Uh, the drift and the drift. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> man. Yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, it doesn't drift as sick as our horse, though. I mean, the horse the horse pulled the handbrake and it just splayed out across <laughs> the ground. Yeah, nay, it's the steam. Let it update. And of course, well, it's been a while since uh, we talked about the Steam Survey. Been a while. Not really. Don't, was you literally about a month. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, uh, the November 2020 numbers have rolled around and Valve put uh, updated the uh, the page as usual. So yeah, you can see that Linux is still very much at not 0.90%, which Hold, is where steady. we were last mm-hmm. time. Uh, so yeah, it is uh, very much along uh, what you'd already expect. The um, most popular CPU is still uh, Intel. Uh, anything from three point seven gig- gigahertz and it's, above. It's losing some ground, though. It is. It is slowly, but it is. <laughs> well, you you were making note of um, AMD's, right? Yeah, like uh, I, I was looking at it. Uh, Intel CPU use or usage overall on Linux has dropped, while AMD has come back up. And I think, yeah, it's it's the holiday season. We're seeing people like, oh, now I can go buy my nice new Ryzen system for my three hundred and fifty dollars chip <laughs> out of stock. The nine hundred dollar <laughs> chip. Well, I mean, you don't you don't even need the big boys anymore. The the, the little crappy ones are better than whatever Intel has. Well, I think Either there's way, definitely well, something to it, man. I mean, it doesn't matter if it's like CPU or video. Uh, I'm sure Intel is making money on CPUs just because. Because like, hey, we're in stock. They have stock. Right. Yes, <laughs> maybe. Yeah, but sp- speaking of speaking of AMD, the uh, the RX four hundred and eighty is continuing to gain quite a bit of traction under Linux, according to the Steam yeah, and second hand, those cheap. are pretty cheap. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, if you're looking for like a you know hundred to hundred and fifty dollar card that you're going to be able to do some ten eighty p gaming on, you can't go wrong with that. Yeah, and if it's also very interesting because you can flash the RX 480 or 590 uh, BIOS on an RX 480. So, yeah, that's uh, that. That's always an interesting proposition. You might as well buy two at that point because you might also brick your GPU. Crossfire. <laughs> well, that and maybe one of them was mined, and you know, who knows? Yes. Have <laughs> yeah. some yeah. fun. It's good to see. Um, yeah, AMD. It'll be interesting to see. You know, about three months from now, where the adoption is, because I think we're going to see a big spike with amd on both cpu and gpu and that's that's always good competition it's fun times 
Proton. We got a new version of that out, 5.13. Don't call it a release. It's a release <laughs> candidate. It's testing. It's Proton Next. Uh, a couple of things in here. Something that I've noticed had been a thing. I did not know it was an issue with Proton. I just thought it was maybe some of the games I was playing. They have restored controller hot plugging. Yay. Yay. Yeah. Um, also, uh, you know, they fixed the thing with Mango, so that works. Thank you, mysterious Valve employee and or contractor. And I noticed um, with Assassin's Creed, the Origins, uh, no more black bars. That's the reason I was using uh, Proton GE. 21 or whatever it's currently at because uh that was like just an issue with launching the game now it's fixed in this uh next and you can get that by doing the 513 proton and going into the betas yes um speaking speaking of ge uh they also imported a fix from ge into mainline proton as well the uh serious m4 flickering that was fixed in ge now it's fixed in 513 proper as well so that's handy if you want to play serious sam and not want to have to create the compatibility tools d folder and forget what fucking direct what subdirectory it exists under like i do every time uh, every a couple time. of updates they've updated dxvk to 173 f audio to 2012 and um yakuza like a dragon's Soul Calibur 6, Lords of the Fallen, and Hammering Time are all, once again, playable. What's uh, Paradox Game Launchers? The hell is that? That's the... Par- Outside of, like, obviously what it says on yeah, the tin. Right, right. I, I think it's just, the, <laughs> like, for, for Sins of a Solar Empire and stuff like that. Okay. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. When, whenever, you, whenever I hear Yakuza Like a Dragon, my brain just cuts to, like, like a virgin. I'm, listen, you know that it's a Yakuza game. There's probably a play on that at some point. Right? There, there, pro- there probably is. And carry over. Yeah, I, I tend to steer clear of uh, Protoji uh, on some games because of the fact that they disabled the little workaround that Proton does that makes so that even if a game is trying to full screen to like 1080p and you have a UHD screen, instead of resizing and changing the actual resolution of the screen, it just creates a window that's that and then upscales the uh, the thing. That's, that's the thing that Proton does that's really nice mm-hmm. and GE absolutely needs to... Just G- 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 also back. has the added benefit, though, <laughs> of games will work with it when they don't work with regular Proton. So There's that. I mean, <laughs> you, you get to take it, but I mean, come on. It, it, you do have that adventurous flutter in your empty chest cavity every time your monitor blinks and you're like, oh, yeah. where are we going with this? <laughs> yes. uh, and it, it's really cute when it bounces back at like 720p or 43 inch uh, HD. Uh, oh, 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 yeah. Good times, but um, it is is the season for client beta updates on December 1st. What do we got? Yeah, December 1st comes, uh, well, it allows videos on YouTube.com to autoplay in Steam Client and Overlay Browser because that was a feature that everyone wanted it. Uh, (laughs) uh, There's something for Windows there, and they uh, fixed some uh, controller input issues for games that... uh, well, effectively browser games that were being sold through Steam, and the PS5 controller was not turning off, even if you, even if you left it uh, inactive, it would just stay on. Honestly, I don't think I ever ran into that, because I always turn it off by holding down the uh, PS button there, so I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, but you kind of called it last week. I, I I realize that this is their their standard mo, but I mean, every every time they say, "Hey, we got more than eight, four controllers working," it's I I mm-hmm. hope to my in in my little black desiccated husk in my chest uh-huh. that it will it will it'll work. It'll stay it'll stay fixed, and apparently it's, it's not. I want to know what type of like uh, feedback um, that they're getting with this to like who's out there going nope shit's on fire yo every because the, the the eight the eight dragons devs that's who. I, I guess <laughs> because uh, it it's just, uh, I don't bring it up because it doesn't affect me at most. I'm going to have two possibly three quit sniffing directly into the mic, Jordan. Um, but. Uh, you're also getting a little seizure with your video too. Uh, Am I? It, it's going to be it's fun. It's getting worse. Yeah, we, we, we got our fingers <laughs> crossed that you're going to know during a recorded segment. Excellent. Uh, but yeah, I want to know what what's breaking, or because I've never noticed like while it was enabled, I've not encountered issues with uh, just regular Steam, and I'm not like, oh, something's wrong. And like, okay, mysteries. We may never know. But uh, Pedro. Your dead cells, man. They keep on updating this game. 
They do. Um, <laughs> yeah, they they have uh, they have a new paid DLC coming out uh, this year or paid. coming soon anyway. Pay, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, yes, <laughs> they kind of have been doing the Hollow Knight thing though because they've been putting out tons of free DLC. They've been adding expansions and biomes and whatnot, and they're like, hey, you know, in order to fund this development, we're gonna ask you for five dollars every couple months. So yeah, this is to fund some more free updates. They add some new, they add two new biomes, some new uh, areas that interconnect, so that you can vary up your playthroughs if you're getting stuck on areas or if you're tired of them. Um, and yeah, there's gonna uh, apparently they have about another year of content planned. Uh, at least, at least in in what Price what they the have sun. in the tank right now. <laughs> yeah, Christ the sun. Um, <laughs> But yeah, uh, they're they're continuing to work on it. Maybe we're gonna start seeing development on Dead Cells two at some point, if uh, if that if uh, development on one is starting to peter out, or maybe they're just gonna they're gonna do the Hollow Knight thing in perpetuity, and then people get really really mad when they make a new game. They're like, hey, can you, yeah. can you pay twenty <laughs> three years later? Can you pay twenty dollars for a bunch of new levels? No, no, I paid for it once. Ah. <laughs> Ah, they're just milking the player base. It's unfair. It's disgusting. Oh ah. yeah, they've been doing that. Uh, since the game released, basically, it's uh, because even when it was in early access, Dead Cells was awfully popular. It's, uh, it's like a, a chunk of the internet discovered what roguelikes were when this game came out. It's like, really? Is it, this has been around for a while. <laughs> But yeah, no, it is a genuinely good game, and uh, you can play it on um, SteamOS slash uh, any version of Linux that you have running the Steam Compositor if you install uh, Steam Compositor Plus. Because if you don't, then the overlay doesn't work, and you can't use like Steam controller. You can't force Steam input for say using with a PS5 or a PS4 controller. It it's yeah. Or you can just you know <laughs> play with Proton. Or you can just play yeah. the Proton and everything will work out of the box. Yeah, yeah. there's that. <laughs> <laughs> Proton has multiple benefits. It's not always just about uh, playing your Windows game. Sometimes, yeah. I mean, I think Proton's a boon for like backwards compatibility. Yes. Well, yeah. it, it is. There are a ton of old ass Unity games that like good. Good luck. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shit, shit, they shit run. was broken when they were officially supported. Good luck getting something fixed now, right? right. Oh, man. Yeah. So, <laughs> we're going to be talking about something that I, for all intents and purposes, I should love. Because, you know, it's like squad-based tactical shooting. And, you know, I genuinely wish to myself, I'm like, man. Because we went through, like, a Linux gaming dark age. Um, it was about 10 years. And really all we had were games based off of the Quake 3 engine. That that was pretty much it. Variants. So, I, I got excited <laughs> when I saw something like Q3 rallied. I'm like, well, at least it's a driving game based off the Quake 3 <laughs> engine. But man, I was first person shooter to go out, kids. But being burned out of the genre just doesn't necessarily stop me from being able to appreciate it. And, well, that may not stop you, but uh, I used to play a lot of Counter-Strike uh, Source back in the day. And Global Offensive, I never really got into it. Yeah, I have like 70 or 80 hours into the game, but that's about how long it took me to go, oh, this is all that it's doing new? Eh, okay. Uh, I'm, I'm, I, I, I doth protest because if I get 70 or 80 hours into something, I'm, I, I, know, I know some shit about it. <laughs> my my my, my yes, problem with Counter Strike. I know enough about it that I uh, I'm pretty much done with the game. It's not that I'm burnt out on FPS. It's quite the opposite. I very much like FPS. Is still it's uh, 2D platformers that I can't do. But hey, if you're one of those people who likes Counter Strike Global Offensive and you probably figure that the game is getting a bit stale at this what point, what if you need an operation for your broken wing? <laughs> then you need to play well, Shadow Warrior. Then you need to go talk to your doctor. But this is Operation Broken Fang. It's a game pass the same that other games already do. That They have for every season, there's like a pass that you buy. And you get access to new missions, new skins, uh, new skins for your guns. Uh, basically, the usual stuff. The big difference here is that you have... Um, 
a selection for every like uh, set of matches if you're playing competitive you get to pick which maps you're going to play on and you, uh, both teams get to vote on which maps are banned which uh, maps are safe and then there will be a variation on the ones that only get one vote one way or another so yeah it's basically more content if you really want to keep playing uh, Counter-Strike Global Offensive and a lot of people seem to it's the most popular game on Dude, Steam right now so. <laughs> <laughs> we 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 got to give Valve and everybody involved like massive credit because they roll these things out and there's never any issues with them. No, it's it's yeah. pretty good. No. Um, <laughs> one one thing that kind of disappoints me about the update though is like Danger Zone gets some new missions, they get some new stuff to do, but no new maps. And I really like that mode. Like my my yeah. problem with Counter Strike was that. I grew up playing it with people who played nothing but Counter-Strike, yeah. and they got way better than me real fast, Right, because I was interested in other shit. And so I, these were the people I would hang out and play with, and they'd just routinely kick my ass, and I wasn't able to bridge the skill gulf, because I don't want to devote the next three weeks of my life to just getting good at Counter-Strike. Um, but yeah, uh, Dangerous Zone threw in a nice little wrench to the formula, but now there's there's only three maps for it. And then, not yeah, to Ven's point, uh, there was what do you a know? little subject that Pedro. went wrong. Pedro Mateus, I said there was never any problems with Valve releases. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> yeah, there was a bit of an issue uh, if you were on Linux. Even if you bought the thing, uh, when you went to redeem the stars that you get for the, uh, the new pass, it would go, uh, no, you can't. And it wasn't just Linux, uh, the stars. same thing happened on Mac. But uh, this has been fixed. They have actually now fixed it. Uh, the uh, issue has been closed. The, I love how one of the fixes is like, your stereo horse now. Man, somebody go slap that person. I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's there's always that one. <laughs> it's not, yeah, the, they, the next comic is work, work on Mac 100%. Yeah. yeah. The issue was with the uh, interface because the Linux version, for some reason, didn't get the uh, the slightly revamped interface to account for the new Game Pass. So that's why you couldn't redeem the uh, for the stars for the rewards. But with the the new interface working, it's now working properly. So yeah, the the there's slight issue there. <laughs> hey man. That was fixed very quick. So where are we at with prophecies? What would be a good prophecy? I, I, I urge I urge you to read it and read into it, I an guess. Urge, an urge. An urge. <laughs> Prophetic urge. <laughs> Is that what you can blame yeah. it on? What are you blaming? Prophecies. I, I, got, I got an urge. I got an urge to surge. And it's hurting my burge. You should never, yeah, have to finish the sentence with officer. Uh, the Skelia? Skelia. Skylia, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I read it as Skylia at least. It, sure. Made by Ezekiel Ray. Sure. We'll go with that. Because it's Ray. magic monsters, dungeons, atmosphere, and brutal difficulty await. Oh, look, it's at Tripixel. Yay. Um, okay. Well, it looks very Castlevania y. Oh, yeah. It's, 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 it's very, very, very Simon's Quest. <laughs> it, it, it looks like if you told a five year old to draw it from memory after yeah being... you describe castlevania to a five-year-old okay. and then you ask them to draw it and what do we what have here, kids? let me tell you what we have we have hipster pixel action role-playing goodness um and if you scroll down a little bit they're like warning there might be some naughty nudity and sexual content and adult themes hide the kids <laughs> but let's go slay some shit blood everywhere rated e for everyone um I went down to the requirements. Now we're just looking at the video. I was looking at the background. So I was like, yeah, background art's pretty decent. The main character, on the other hand, uh, looks like mm -hmm. Prince Adam with a few extra chromosomes, man. Um, <laughs> just, I don't know, man. Maybe it's, oh, it's 20 bucks. Ooh, it's not early access. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go down to the requirements because this requires the always elusive. I urge you to. I don't Who makes that model? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe the same people make the preferably video card. <laughs> <laughs> I urge you to. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> maybe that's some new shit. Some development at Nvidia, I, man. We just don't. There, know there, there better be there better be some sick ass beats in this game, or else like I went and bought a sound card. I went and bought a PCIe sound card for no reason. Right. Um. But yeah, like I I don't know. Visual visuals wise, it looks about on par with like a Super Nintendo Castlevania game. I'm always has yeah. when I see somebody describe their own game as beautiful pixel art. Mm -hmm. oh, or it's, it's, yeah. it's people who describe their scripts as hilarious. And I completely oh, misread you. that as tough as nil's nudity. And I 
<laughs> I, Tough as nails nudity, man. Perfectly the, the, those like nipples lost, will come gained and lost interest at the same time. Like, so, wait, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Sounds like maybe you need to whiz harder. I wish him best luck. If you get a copy, uh, go play with it. Try it out and um, send us some feedback. Tell if it, it, it could, because sometimes maybe the graphical fidelity is not perfectly, but the gameplay is. Then you got something that just looks gorgeous. What was the uh, like heavy metal goth pixel thing uh, that was? Oh, Slain? Yeah, yes. back from L edition. It's like that's not even better, but it looks nice. And plays it, like, it looks yeah, great. It plays it like a butt. All right, but no. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, this is. <laughs> go ahead. I was, I was, I was gonna say like, I don't even remember what I was gonna say. I lost my train. That's thought. what God I thought. Good times. <laughs> damn, damn you! I, I need to whiz harder. Uh, yeah, this is the wizard whiz harder edition. Uh, they sent us some keys for this over at Creator did. Connect, so we gotta, we gotta thank them for that. Um, yeah, and it is a turn-based dungeon crawler uh, with a gesture-based magic system, which means how that does you, that work? Er, so you you fill out you fill out circles on a grid, and based on the circles you fill out, you cast a different spell. Uh, I think I think that works a little bit better. There's another game uh, with freeform magic like that called Magica, and I found the big problem with that is is that like by the time you shit and trine? No, this this one had you like do DDR patterns, but like by the time you get your spell in, um, like you've you've died already to get your good spell. So do having it turn based and letting you decide from that, I think it's probably the way to go. One thing that threw me for a loop: this is not a roguelike. There are designed levels. Oh no! Someone, mm -hmm. yeah, they they're they're adding a level creator. That's what they're saying. Um, that's one of the planned features. If you buy into the early access here, uh, they're gonna do a Mario Maker style level design, which I think is actually a good thing for games like these. Like give people the ability to screw around and make their own content. Um, efforts. Um, so yeah. Um. It is it's a turn-based puzzle RPG, and yeah. I actually didn't realize that it wasn't early access when I shot him an email. So, uh, big kudos to uh, Hypnotic Owl for uh, being cool about Mateus. it. <laughs> um. mm -hmm. Look, I just went through the new releases list and went, oh, that looks all right. Who makes that? Okay. <laughs> See, I want to believe that. Is, key, so, yeah. <laughs> that's nice, honey. Please leave your room. Mom. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> it looks interesting maybe we'll be able to play around with it and uh keep you apprised of development i am i'm curious as to what the hell the jester based spell thing is so i'm going to play with it just for that it's 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 like hammer fight but with magic you just flail your mess around yeah <laughs> you mean clean your desk off step one <laughs> yes flail your mess around everything out of the way first step yeah I, I need to go back and tango with that bastard <laughs> you know, the track ball i might be able to play it <laughs> maybe yeah maybe i mean that, 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 maybe, that's like the one game that actually works better with a track ball than a regular mouse <laughs> I might stand some chance with it. All right. Um, let's do that. Yeah. Coming up next, DXVK gets a new release. Kiddo gets a new release. Unreal gets a new release. And I can finally, finally play Zelda 2. Get some release? Final. Oh, okay. <laughs> there must be some kind of way out of here. Wouldn't you like to know what we've been up to in between these segments? You should watch us live. Then you would know exactly. Yeah. Choo, choo, Jordan's choo. been sneezing a lot. Uh, yeah, you can totally watch us live uh, if you'd like to uh, catch all the in betweeny bits, or you can just watch the full unedited version to get the whole experience uh, after the fact. What do you mean, you full unedited so version? Enjoy. How would I do that? I mean, there's sound effects on that sneeze. There is. It might have been digitally enhanced or altered. We, we've replaced the sneezes Just with walkie-talkies. Yeah, need, 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 needs needs more ATSTs. Yeah. Oh man. Uh, yeah, we we we, we got. Uh, I mean, I I don't, I don't even know anymore. Come come check out our Patreon. <laughs> Patreon.com slash Linux Gamecast. It's a good way to support the show. Um, there, there there's your non sequitur. Um, yeah, uh, for uh. Just a dollar a week, you get access to our Discord channel. Uh, you get access to the pre pre Super Chosen, which is a pretty nice uh, extra hour of Linux gaming content. Bonus you content. can watch that. Yeah, you get our assist feed for that. You can watch it on YouTube or you can listen to it on Discord. There are many, many options for you to consume it. It's great. A little bit more, two fifty a week, and that gets you access to the show notes. You can suggest stories. You can issue corrections. You can give us your hot takes, and we might talk about them on the show because they're in the notes. They're what we're reading off of. Right now, this entire thing is scripted, by the way, including this speech right now that I am saying. So meta. 
so meta. Uh, we got a store. Yeah, uh, we got we got a store. Store.lakeskincast.com. Go buy some merch. I have one of our shirts on. You can't see it because the the camera made me a tiny little box now. Uh, but uh, yeah, there. It's the Steam. <laughs> it's the Steam update. <laughs> <laughs> we got merch. We got merch. And uh, yeah, which one did you have? Uh, I have used me. One. They used me. They used me. Nice. Oh, we got, we, we got we got masks. Oh yeah, we do. See, it turns into that when you put it on. <laughs> 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 Magic. If you want, it turns that. into it, the, the the fell owls. The fell owls, man. Check it out, man. It's a party in the back. Hellox up front. Uh, we got cups. We got stickers. We got die cut stickers. We don't have die cut hoodies. shirts. Uh, they're illegal, apparently. Um, yeah, come hang out with do, us in Discord. We, have- we got a bunch of access. We could just get a bunch of frees. Our business model is we just basically give everything away for free. And if you like it, hey, kick us some coin. That's how we finance everything. But yeah, Discord. Uh, that's where at the other six days a week, eclectic group of interesting people. Really, it's a interesting people let's stick with that one then um yes let, a, let, let's, let's go with that don't, don't incriminate they us anymore. are interesting yes. they will get to know you then it's a it's a pre-built-in community that everyone's welcome to stop in and of course uh irc always open anytime you just want to pop in there it's at a free note all that can be found on yeah. the web zone but we do need to uh, think verita nuda yes yeah the naked truth they increased their patreon pledge oh almost forgot we do have uh we got amazon wish zones oh yeah if you want to if you if you want to if i should i should put like a new webcam on there or something you should uh, you, you wanna... should put a sony a6000 yeah. on them <laughs> yeah may, maybe maybe someone will pay a fourteen hundred dollars for me to get a nice dslr <laughs> maybe it'll be one of you if I, you buy ben some stuff you get your name on the flashy wall behind them we, too we, so we do have a fine upstanding cannibal wall i worry about that uh we have like a little wish zones if you want to help out kick some uh they speaking of like eclectic stuff uh it's on both of their list uh jordan's always down for some face mask shenanigans tune in last week's pandatastic episode it's a pandemic <laughs> i there, there's a lot of stuff up the studio list on amazon also there's a list i've made for amazon because i don't like using things the right way but like everything we have um currently in the studio is on like our gear guide thing we're in it's like an influencer thing whatever but it's all listed and categorized some things i don't put on the studio list simply because i know if somebody bought that and spent that kind of money i wouldn't want to talk to him again <laughs> i'd be like what's wrong with, i mean like, extra wrong with you <laughs> but Lots. you do get the option you do get the option to send us a note these are the ones I've read over the years, and uh, don't don't be tasteful with it. Not even yeah, right, Jay, no, but right. Literally, if you can make us read whatever you write on those notes, I'll read anything that won't land me in jail. So get creative. Eight equals 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 <laughs> equals 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 D tilde 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 tilde. I will tilde, read tilde. the next one that comes this way with extra emphasis, as long as it insults Pedro. Ooh. All right. Okay. <laughs> you're, you're, you're just going to get a bunch of like random shit with just Pedro insults on it. It's going to be fantastic. I, I don't care, man. Whatever. <laughs> as long as I get to see what I get out of it is just straight up insulting Pedro. The yep, other stuff's true. a bonus soda. Yeah. It's going to be great. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's get into the actual regular ordinary news. Man, we can just we start do. that off the, with a little Dix Fix, baby. Brand new Dix Fix. It made its way into the new Proton release that came out earlier in the week. Uh, not 173 is out. Uh, you got an, an EverQuest fix, and you got a Trine 4 fix. They're really taunting us with this Trine 4 stuff. They really want us to play Trine 4, the Nightmare Prince, because that's a quality gaming experience, you guys. Um, yeah, there's some D3, D9 fixes as well. Um, uh, they added the new DXGI interfaces uh, that Windows 10 introduced in an up recent update. Um, and yeah, that's, that's kind of it. There's a new build requirement, but if you're consuming it through Lutris or Proton or Proton GE, you don't really got to worry about that. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's available. It doesn't fix the Assassin's Creed I care about because that's on the other project where they implement the DirectX with the Vulcans, but mm. you know, um, is it one of those things? Cause I know it is playable under Proton. I've seen people streaming it under Linux. Uh, is it? Yeah. Uh, maybe there's a there's a DirectX 11 flag that I just did not there's find. Some, I'm going to say I'm sure it requires some level of playing with it that you just couldn't be fucked with. But yeah, that's very possible. 
Yeah, the only thing that I saw that uh, kind of piqued my interest was the optimize the redundant render target clears. Uh, and some games were apparently running into performance issues with that. It's like, can, can we have a list of those games? Because I've run into a few where with just regular DXVK, the performance seems to be worse than with just wine without DXVK. So can 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 I get a tally on um is anyone else just like moderately surprised that EverQuest 2 is still a thing? Uh no. not really. <laughs> the, the, all, a lot of those old MMOs. <laughs> a lot of those old MMOs have a lot of fan servers still running. It's not even if it's not the official ones anymore. Okay, here, here's another real question. Um is there a higher uh, player count on EverQuest? Or EverQuest 2. That's a, you know what? That, that's an over under. Send us some hate mail with your bets. Right. We'll, we'll look it up next week. <laughs> I, I um, think Ultima beats both of those. <laughs> Ultima Online? Yeah. 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 Oh. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. The, the, the one thing that's a little disappointing with this release, I mean, again, it's kind of stabilized, but we're not seeing any new big game fixes, but I guess that's what you get for a big game. This is the best thing to introduce right before holiday break. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, every, to be every, fair, everyone's on the X12 now. Many, anyways, <laughs> there aren't those many big games coming out at this time of year because it's the holidays. I'll go right back and say it though, man. <laughs> you think about it. The fact that DX12, it, I'm still getting over that it works. Period. Much less that you know games are playable with it. Right. Yeah. It's the future, bro. Uh, go to yeah. go to two D. Oh, do in your face. Check it out. Uh, Several improvements for the upcoming 4.0 release, man. Uh, they're going to—it's just better performance, better lighting, better materials, and a 2D GPU particle system. Jordan, what? Yeah. Well, I, I mean, you know, a lot, a lot of 2D games now are actually just 3D games that they just lock one of the perspectives, so it <gasps> makes sense. That, uh, right? <laughs> Go oh figure. man, <laughs> there, there, there's a there's a brilliant screenshot of um, the Zelda GBA remake that they put out on the Switch, where they like show it. They show the top down, and they show like the side view, and everyone's on like this really weird angle to get the isometric view. But yeah, so I mean. 2D has been Godot's bread and butter forever, so it's good to see that they're um, they're working on improving it. 2D Vulcan, man, it's it's a thing. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm looking at this. Um, you know, updates to canvas, masking, clipping, um, sign distance fields for 2D, and hey, man, 2D directional lights and shadows. That's kind of cool. I'm glad to see that. But let's talk about like the um, the footer. No, the. Uh, you know, you know when you're playing a 2D game that's really been modeled in 3D. How many times have you been playing them? Was like this would be better in like first person, or yeah, maybe I could quite move a the few actually. <laughs> <laughs> this <still> sucks. <laughs> It's like you clearly so, made this in three. Let me reorient the camera, please. A little bit. No. no. <laughs> oh, I, trust me. I'm sure the trying people are like we tried that. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't. Fair, I don't doubt they that didn't the, try very I don't doubt the trim, No, the, the trend people tried it. They're just not very good. Well, yeah. it's the first attempt. <laughs> Every time I do it and I fail, it's a practice. And and this apparently their last attempt, and that was just chapter one. And yeah, no, they just got I, fucked I off with that. Do what Chad would do. Chap, chap, chapter <laughs> chapter one of one one. Yeah. <laughs> Um, we got some updates for the hot Sony hidden for, yeah. for the true Dark Souls pros. Yeah, the true Dark Souls pros who play Dark Souls and speed run it with Guitar Hero um, attachments. Yes. So what was uh, going so, on with the? Um, I just I was on Twitch and I posted in our Discord earlier uh, this week, and it's like, oh look, um, let's plays. They're doing like the speed runs of Dark Souls, and there's a bunch of people playing Dark Souls. And I just posted, yeah. I was like, Pedro will probably watch that. Sure I did. Yeah. <laughs> I saw like three or four people uh, do about an hour long run, killing all the bosses because they were doing boss runs mm -hmm. and just like getting through the whole game without dying and killing all the bosses. Dude that made it faster was like an hour and two minutes. That's, that's fucking impressive. <laughs> that, that doesn't impress me as much as the ones that do it with no damage no no damage no on the da donkey kong bongos it's even worse if you do the no hit run mm. because you can't be hit at all even if you don't take damage because you raised a shield or the armor soaked up enough of it uh it, it's no hit you can't be hit if you're hit 
kill it, start again. And some dude actually managed to get through Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3 without getting hit ever. Using the using That's the same impressive. input for all three games? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> they did. They did. They did one of those for Pokemon, and that was like real fuck. Or no, it was it was Mega Man, where they had like three generations of Mega Man, and they had like the tasks do the same inputs on every single game, and that was what they needed to be to do. <laughs> it's, it's it's crazy what some of these speedrunners can pull off. Uh, yeah. But yeah, no, it's 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 good to see that we're getting some kernel support for some Guitar Hero controllers. I'm sure the Frets of Fire community are uh, real happy about that. Well, hey man, you yeah. gotta think about it. Uh, the Guitar Hero Live PS3 and Wii U dongles. Um, they're just going to start working eventually, right? Yes. Uh, they will. The comment has been submitted by uh, Pascal Giard, uh, who comes from the uh, Quebec's École de Technologie Supérieure. And yeah, it makes those uh, old USB dongles work on Linux. And uh, I like his uh, little line at the bottom. It's like, interestingly, the Wii U and PS3 dongles share the same uh, vendor ID and product ID. So they just literally use the same one. <laughs> it makes yeah. sense, right? <laughs> right. What, yeah, why, like why, why make two peripherals for two different consoles? One, one has to imagine after the uh, great Guitar Hero crash of the <laughs> mid aughts. Um, yeah, yeah, they, they they had a bunch of those laying around. Yeah. So. <laughs> why, why why do you think it's a Dark Souls Run category? It's because they have them run. Right. Yep. Everyone has one. <laughs> hey, we got some good news, man. Wasted. Wasted. Wasteland 3! It's coming to Linux with version 1.3.0. Uh, they put out a blog post where they also, uh, the current patch is 1.2.0, and they have uh, links to the release notes and everything else. Uh, they have uh, Brazilian, Portuguese, and Italian localization coming. And of Italian, course, Portuguese. Uh, mm -hmm. Mac and Linux, it's similar enough, I guess. Uh, the, <laughs> the, um, yeah, they did uh, promise uh, when they um, released the game that, yes, we will have a Linux version, just not at the same time as the Windows version. So they will be targeting that uh, on Steam and GOG with patch 1.3.0. So we get to look forward to that uh, next year. I still need to finish uh, Wasteland 2, but I'm very much me, looking forward me, to this one. Me too. All, all those ranks in toaster repair have to be for something, right? Yeah, um, no, they, they have to do something. I have a character the, that it, has max toaster repair. Yeah, well, well yeah, that, that's, there's always like the garbage skill in the RPG is like, no, this is actually the best skill. I put all my ranks in it. It has this, to be, right? It, it, it unlocks all the hidden dialogue. It's cost fallacy. It has to be. It has to be. I, yeah, I'm uh, so glad to see that they... I mean, didn't we, we all kind of knew that they were going to make good on this? Because, you know, it's, it's to, Unity game. Yeah, right? Yeah, it's an exile. Dude. Unlike now, Obsidian. <laughs> but it's an exile. Well, so, 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 so here, here's, here's the thing, though. Um, do you think that this is going to be using Vulcan? Um, if they make it in Unity, yeah. probably. Maybe. <laughs> it, it, it does have that click magical click export button. Yeah. So. Well, that. Hmm. We, I think we'll it, see on that, man. I mean, you know, I'm just going to present Wasteland. Never was in my bag. I know you two enjoyed it. So I'm just, you know, I'm glad it's, what wasn't that? Wasteland 3 was uh, crowdfunded as well, wasn't it? Yeah. I think yeah. that one was Fig though, not Kickstarter. Yeah, it was Fig oh, okay. funded. Remember Fig. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> that was some crazy justice. <laughs> There's also apparently some DLC coming in 2021 as well. So, you know, maybe, maybe we'll get okay. a bit of a bundle going on. So, you know. So this next story is uh, harkening back to my childhood when, you know, you had like three, possibly four NES games. And one of the games I had, a beloved game, was it a golden cartridge? No, not that one. The one everyone hated, Zelda 2. Uh, this, this is Zelda 2 Redux. It's, it's a ROM hack, but come on, I don't know, slide this in because technically we can play it on Linux, man. Uh, so... They fixed a lot of stuff in this, man. Like they like the room in the Great Palace has been modified, so now like you can get to the room with the moves from all routes. Uh there's no more dead ends in that. They've reworked the HUD. So it looks more like a regular Zelda game, manual save features, and now all the enemies give out XP. Happy to see that. Uh I was going to tango with this on Friday. I just never got around to getting everything set up and legally downloaded Nintendo because you make ROMs Dumps. available, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And to get everything patched. <laughs> but yeah. I, I just wanted to throw this in because I spent an inordinate amount of time trying to get through uh Zelda 2, only to realize that 
I, I was genuinely spinning my wheels because you, the way to get through Nintendo, uh, well, here we go, Freudian slip, but the way to get through Zelda 2, what's called Nintendo Power? You, yes, you, 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 you had needed to, to a get that magazine. Yeah. Because yeah. there, there was shit in that game, especially at one castle with like, you have left, 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 right, right, left, right, 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 left, 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 right. Then mm-hmm. you get through it. Like, they, they have a whole whack of patches that are optional for this as well. If you want to like customize your experience to like roll back specific features, it's pretty granular. So if you want, you can dial in your perfect Zelda 2 experience, I guess. But it, it's cool to see that. You know they're still working on like hacking old games and making them playable mm-hmm. like there, there was one for uh castlevania 2 uh simon's quest that like tries to fix a lot of the gameplay issues and make it like play well like a good game they like sped up the text they made the day night cycle make a little bit more sense they actually had the npcs tell you where you need to go as opposed to like <laughs> go check page 15 of nintendo power fucko right oh, like man. That was such a sketchy thing back in the day, but or, hey, or, or the hotline, the hotline. Yeah, call the hotline. Five nine five ninety nine a minute for Nintendo tips. Dude. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe once I get done with um Zen, I might tackle go back and revisit Zelda too. I don't know, man. I don't know. But we got to say uh, goodbye to our friend. Yeah, uh, there's a new version (laughs) of Unreal Engine Out 4.26, and it has a big, big list of changes. This is a this is a chunky boy, dude. Check this out. Yeah, what what we all do, what we all do, (laughs) control F, and like, okay, um, Linux, and then 28 28, uh, Linux entries. That that's yeah, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. But the 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 big one here is they have deprecated OpenGL fully now, so uh, I've. I think you can still enable it with a compile flag, but by default, uh, open for the is mobile complete. renderer. Yes, for yeah. the, mo- for the you, mobile you renderer. You can use like EGL. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it it, ma- it makes sense because like honestly, at this point, anything capable of running a UE4 project is probably going to support Vulkan anyways. Um, what, what type of side eye bullshit is this? Oh, we're gonna put the pink loop first before Windows and after the Android. Max up here, mm. though. Next I think idea. that's a uh, thinly veiled fuck you. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> HoloLens, man. That's that's the real future. They're, they're, they also have a bunch of other Linux fixes in here as well. You can peruse the notes. One thing I saw just per- browsing through the notes here was apparently X is going to give it to you because the DMX plugin is production ready. Nice. So apparently, apparently DMX is for managing stage shows because they, they have a bunch of shit in here like, oh, look at the, here's the technology they used on the Mandalorian. We're releasing this now to like people to use um and so apparently the people problem. using ue4 like everybody at a certain shit. age right now is playing that dbz music video on their head mm-hmm. that's it yeah, yeah. <laughs> thanks jordan <laughs> actually i wasn't until you brought it up but yeah. I thought it up out. all right <laughs> Well, that, that, that's that's how it do. If you're an Unreal Engine developer, you got a new version to play with. Uh, but start getting good at writing Vulkan code if you want to support Linux. That's what I get worried about because um, it's going to be all Vulkan all the time, and they, they're just going to have to do a lot of under the hood to M- magic magical yeah, Vulkan button. Yeah. yeah, magic Vulkan button, which is what it's going to boil down to. Unfortunately, on the Linux builds for a lot of games, it's like, oh, well, I clicked export and sent it to Steam. Give me money. Can you support it? Yeah, Fuck yeah, no, yeah. but give me some money. <laughs> you. Did, did you try? Did you try to run it? No. no. So that's your job, <laughs> right? You, you 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 buy the game and you play it. You don't tell me what's no, broken. Jordan. Yeah. You, you're what's wrong with Linux gaming. <laughs> I mean, Monster. I mean, true, but yes. like, you know, what what else is new? Uh, coming yeah, what up the next, fixes, uh, what, 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 what? what are the bug fixes that they actually brought up? Which actually reminded me of one such uh, developer who can be. B- bothered to test the Linux version of their Unreal 4 game, which was Superland, was the uh, fixed Linux packaging failure resulted from uh, Lumen Key being copied locally into Gauntlet. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if they made the game Lumen and uh, the Gauntlet, but there was a similar issue with Superland, which was what caused the Linux native version to stop working, was that the Linux binary was actively trying to load the Windows uh, resource file basically you anybody it. that knew the smallest amount of fuck anything about linux could have walked into superland like derp 
It's re- yeah. you gotta rename yeah. a DL- you gotta rename a file. It's just like OBS sprites, yeah, right? Or the rename it, or just delete the uh, the Windows one, and then the uh, thing would go. Oh, okay. So the Windows one's not there. There's the Linux one, mm-hmm. and it worked just fine. And which is kind of insulting because developers like Linux is a hellscape populated solely by wizards that can no longer support. Like you didn't even fucking try. Complain traffic. No, nope, they didn't. He never even bothered. No, but he was glad to take your money. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> You're the problem with Linux gaming. <laughs> All right, coming up next, we're 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 gonna go into the backwoods, back in time, thousands of years ago in the future, to go through a pyramid. Okay, of money, redneck money. It's the curse of the mummy, or in this case, the curse of the sister. I don't know. We're throwing chairs at Immortal Redneck, spelled by Crema, done on the Unity engine. You can pick it up for about 20 bucks. What is it? Immortal Redneck is an FPS set in Egypt with rogue light elements, frantic gameplay, Twitch controls in an arcade style field, meet randomly generated dungeons, a complete skill tree, permanent death, and nine classes with different You get to play as Tom Cruise? Maybe. <laughs> I haven't unlocked him yet, but. Oh, okay. You. you <laughs> You can who, who, who played the mummy? Uh, at least at least half of John Travolta. Oh, you need okay. at least half of John Travolta. <laughs> <All right. laughs> um, yeah, uh, they didn't. We we picked this up for dirt cheap. Uh, so yeah, no special thanks this week. I guess I guess I started. I'll start this week because I actually like this game. Um, for Fedora thirty two sixty four bit with the. Ryzen 9 3900 X and the GTX 1080 Ti launches out of the box with the i7 6700 K and the RX um, 60 or 5700 XT. I don't have the 6700 XT. I'm not a scalper. Um, yeah. Also, also launches out of the box. I will say though, there's a little bit of like janky screen shit that happens at the beginning that got me a little worried, but it was fine. It's like, uh, did, did it work? Yeah, it worked. Uh, controls. Yeah, it's standard WASD FPS controls. You gotta scroll really hard though. If like you know, normally you're like, I want to switch weapons. I'm gonna scroll up or down. No, you gotta scroll a couple times to actually do that. I ended up switching to the number keys. Um, I really like the visual style here. Uh, all the enemies are very well designed. I, at one point, I screamed, "Oh fuck, snake babies!" Uh, much to the surprise of everyone else in the room, and they were unclear as to what was happening. I also really like the soundtrack. I think it's kind of bumping. Um, fun wise, I didn't think of it. I didn't think too much of it going in. Um, I thought, oh, it's just gonna be another like random generated shooter. But it's surprisingly fun. If you like serious Sam style games and want something that just throws room after room of crap at you, this might do it for you. And the gameplay loop is solid enough, in my opinion. You shoot things, you survive, you collect gold, you die because you fucked up somehow, and then you can lock more dudes uh, with different weapons. You can increase your health your damage blah 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 uh you got to spend all your money though because uh if you have any leftover uh, it gets taken away as your tax for going back in the pyramid difficulty curve isn't insanely high um the ai is a little dumb but there's enemies all over the place and sometimes the levels are just not good for you and you just get corner fucked and you die um but you know what as an occasional pick up and play or coffee break game i think this is a really strong contender for something that i would just play for a couple of minutes um a day or whatever um i like it well enough 20 bucks kind of steep it's a little it's a little pricey for the return you get but you know there's a sale coming in you know pick a month i'll give it three chairs the, the, the it's always on sale it's it is the it is on steam after all but uh over here on the uh, gtx 1080 and the ryzen 7 3700x it launched out of the box it almost Almost holds 144 at 2560 by 1440 when you disable the uh, anti-aliasing. No matter which one you pick, there's a severe hit to the um, the FERPs. Uh, mouse and keyboard and rebindable controls, so that works uh, as intended. The main character's quips aren't obnoxious because they're few and far between. And most of the time they get drowned out by the pumping combat music, so no complaints there. As for the fun, uh, it really is the rub here, isn't it? Uh, the, I didn't like it very much. Uh, it seems to do a lot of things right, and it apes a lot of mechanics from other games, which I did like very much, like um, Ziggurat and Enter the Gungeon. Those, are, those seem to be the two main ones that this sort of kind of creates a bit of a hybrid. Uh, and it just... It just doesn't quite get there. Uh, the Can you imagine if, if you were playing Ziggurat and you leveled up 
and it would freeze in the middle of combat while there were still enemies around you, and all the, of the momentum that your character has built up to that point while you're moving and doing the circle strafing and trying to dodge everything that's being thrown at you, and it would just stop. And then when you get went back in game after you were done with the level up or looking at the scroll that you just picked up, that momentum would be gone. So if you were in the middle of trying to dodge something and you were low on health, you'd just die. Which has happened to me a lot in Immortal Redneck. And yeah, the when your character starts moving, it's slow and it's got a bit of a ramp up to get up to speed. And whenever you pick one of the scrolls in the middle of combat, it just stops you. Yeah, that kind of killed it for me. And it one thing that it does right is uh, the opposite of what Undermine did, which is it lets you keep your money when you die it only takes your money away it does the rogue legacy thing of only taking your money away when you actually go back into the pyramid but that makes sense because it means you can spend your money before it takes it away from you so yeah that's um that's a good one but the interruptions to the combat and the bullet spread you saw me trying to shoot those guys if you're watching the video version from far away and it's basically impossible i had the crosshairs on him and the bullet spread is basically the equivalent of try trying to hit something by throwing a bullet at a spinning fan and hoping that it hits so yeah it's not fun for me it's perfectly competent but thoroughly meh two chairs Well, you, well, well. <laughs> hey, man, I have buttons to press and sock puppet monkeys to look at. <laughs> Shut up. Um, <laughs> over here on Debian 10, on the thread ripping 1928X, uh, 32 gigs of RAM, yeah, 32 gig NVMe, um, 2060, non super edition, man. Uh, nice and clean, out of the box, which, you know, I was a little hesitant about because, hey, man, this game's from 2017. Sometimes you can run into issues with older Unity titles, but. Proud to report, everything's running about 70 to 90 FURPS with uh, everything jacked up at 3840 by 2160. That's UHD surprising performance. It even has options for people that want to use. Like ASP, a controller. <laughs> yes, even including an aimbot. I mean, auto aim. It's an aimbot. Same difference. Now, the only real gripe is the amount of scrolling needed to change weapons, as Jordan addressed. It is laughable. Like you think that button just doesn't work until you really grind on it and then it goes click next weapon so you just use numpad or just use number keys whatever you're gonna do all in all nice work considering it's unity especially especially from 2017 now let's talk about fun because this is a rogue light fps it sounds like a good idea i'm, I'm kidding that's it's a rubbish idea you know what it might be a good idea but this this just didn't sell me on it i tried um first and foremost i just want to say uh a lot of love went into this. Graphics look nice. Borderline, maybe too cutesy, but uh, I'll just work clearly went into it. Uh, level design, yeah, all right. But let's talk about the baddies because the retro AI uh, caused my give a fucking meter just to peg to just not to zero to nothing in about 15 minutes. And what do I mean by retro? Well, that's my polite way of saying that AI is bad. Hashtag LGC cares. But, you know, the, all the baddies can do, they're, they're going to like run right at you, fly right at you, or like stand in a corner and give you the pew pews, man. Except for the pole dancing mummies, they just kind of hang around then they shoot shit at you from the corners. Uh, I gave it two rounds, man. I upgraded my junk giggity, but nothing really sold me on this. I don't know. I, I definitely get the. Uh, serious and vibe-ish, but it, nothing really hit me with any type of impact. I mean, this is like if Slime Ranchers and Serious Sam banged while Ziggurat filmed the whole ordeal. This would be the resulting offspring, and unfortunately that offspring is something only a mother can love, and possibly the camera guy. I, I don't know where I'm at with this. I don't know what I expected. I expected maybe something more to sell it because other than that you get props for attempting to tie in the zombie hillbilly redneck type thing but i'd, I'd like to think maybe if you you know like 50 bucks and some drugs you could have gotten the rights to bubba hotep which i think would have been an infinitely more entertaining game this this i'm done with uh 
I just didn't didn't feel any, anything for it whatsoever. Uh, it's competent enough, but yeah, I'm just you can give us a hard pass. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so f- f- final thoughts wise, one, one one thing that kind of bugged me about what Pedro says is I materially don't really see the difference between like it looks taking like the he's money holding before him, holding us in his hands. You don't mm, see got, the point of well, you dying with uh, sixteen hundred gold and get, taking away well, so all but five hundred. I, I was, I, and I was going to finish my sentence, that. but you know, but you know, you, you can you can argue against your straw man however much you want. Uh, what I was going to say is, it still means that you there's no there's no overflow, right? Like you, it's at some way you still need to get good enough at the game in order to have enough money to actually upgrade stuff. You can't bank. You can't. It, it's ultimately the same system. It's just when they take your money. Uh, I don't. I don't really uh, see what no, the, the issue is. No, it's completely fundamentally different because you, uh, if you die, would say again. You have 1,500 gold when you die, and you die, and they only let you you keep 500, which means when you respawn and you get to the store, you only have 500 gold to spend. Right, right. In this game, when you you die, you you die. You get to keep keep most of that gold. You keep all of it. You keep those 1,500, and you get to the store, and you have 1,500. The difference here is that you keep all your money when you get to the place where you can actually spend it, versus when you die, you get the money taken away from you, which means you have less to spend, which means you've made, effectively, no progress. Gone. It's completely gone. So, there, materially, <laughs> there is no difference. You, you still have to over-collect. You still have to overcollect in order to progress. No, but that that's is the, the central overcollecting doesn't make a difference because it takes away all but those five hundred. You only get to keep a fix. Ladies and gentlemen, um, we'll continue this argument in the after shows, but we're, we're going to peace out uh, for the chairquisitions. We'll see you for the hate mail. And you probably should be watching us live because if you're not, well, then you're probably a little you bit missed confused. You the end of that, that heated particular... debate that I was like, this is probably going to go on for another 10 minutes, so let's do it. <laughs> it, it no, you, we, I think needed, both you, me and Jordan realized that we weren't going to agree, so. <laughs> no, but what, what you need to do is like cut back to just have like skeletons in either of our spots. We need, to, yeah. we need to have that asset. We need to have that asset ready of like just a skeleton sitting where we normally sit. And so we just got that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ex- except less a hag owl and more dead later. person. Yeah. But yes, if you do have your own opinion as to how uh, rogue lights should do their uh, monetary systems, please uh, go on over to LinuxGameCast.com. Run, run, run more uh, hit ads. The contact button. That's how. Yes. <laughs> uh, hit the contact button and fill out the forum. LGC Weekly is usually the uh, default selection, but in case it isn't, make sure you pick that so we can get your hate mail going right here right now and if you're a game developer make sure you include three keys or something that we can share so that we can all play the game because if you don't well yeah three or three hundred baby no matter how you want to rock and roll it but uh we were talking last week uh about a humble issue with the bundle and being raw files and zip files and having to fight around and play around with it and pedro's like do this thing and it worked well um one of our listeners Impatient ape. He's like, yo, yeah. Right into that. Bash scripts. Got some ideas, man. <laughs> right. So uh, this is about the bundle dark, baby. I like that. I'd watch that show. Bundle dark. Hmm. Disney. Do it. Uh, then. Thanks for the heads up on the humble bundle dark fantasy studio. Royalty free music. Zip. Rawr. Fuck up. I'm a nobody. Hello, Mr. Nobody. Um, if you have a way to put instructions out here, that's what we're doing. Help other uh, Linux folks get the bundle. They can use these instructions below. Hard pass because you're not paid to be anyone's IT guy. But no, man, uh, that's something I meant to put up. This is uh, just go check the show notes for this. But this basically is just do you know utilizing hex dump to figure out what's a raw, what's a zip, and uh, getting all that moved over. Create the directories. And uh, some other Linux magic, but... A bash loop. Yeah. Humble put yeah. up a little disclaimer. Yeah, that was their uh, um, patient eight right, uh, writes that, yeah, you need a uh, recommended for Mac, WinRAR, and all this shit, which, um, yeah, we, we told, Yeah, right. That, that's what I recommended. Install <laughs> WinRAR on Wine, and then just use that. Dude. Uh, <laughs> pay for it. Pay for, anyway, for WinRAR. In closing, if anyone wants to preview the music before buying, I think nearly all the albums can be heard in full on the Dark Fantasy Studios YouTube channels. That's what I did. Probably what I should. I would have bought it anyway, just to 
give them some cash because I want to support studios that are like, hey, use this for streaming. Even though I'm an old dog, I always learn some new trick. Yeah, that's really cool. Uh, my solution was nowhere near as elaborate as that. I just uh, went, like, downloaded everything and was like, unzip and had the like three things that were actual zip files <laughs> and took those put them in a the folder then i did a mass rename on uh you know i googled like what's the easiest way to change all dot zip to dot raw and did that and then i just did the on raw then i did a find and the mp3 so uh here's another way to do it that is uh a little less involved eh? Uh, I, I think the least involved way, uh, and I'm usually would the be first for Humble to, to unfuck the um, um yeah. If Humble had yeah, yeah, done a mass zip. rename of all the files into dot zips, that would have been helpful. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you're on KDE Arc, uh, if you have an RAR installed, Arc will actually pick up on each individual file and figure out what it is and extract it. So if you just select you, everything, you also... right click, extract. Don't. You also don't have to use Hexdump. You could use the file utility, which is pretty standard. Yes. Hexdump doesn't usually come installed with a Linux distro, uh, but file does. And it will check the magic number and tell you what the extension I is. almost forgot. I didn't get a chance to throw it in. I was getting everything uh, Veritanudo wrote in on Patreon, which is the guaranteed way to get a message get our attention. to us outside of like using the contact form. You're pissing in the window. Or, se or sending a point. raven. Yes, raven's worth. <laughs> um, he gave a mention to something on the same topic. It was like, yo, Vin, did you just fucking forget about uh, the humble downloader? Which, uh, to retort, yes, I forgot about the <laughs> <laughs> Which is that script which will just go out and download all the shit from your uh, um, bundles. So right. that, that also works on music bundles, apparently. So. Yes. I, I, if it's just zip files, then I mean, yeah, yeah I, I mean, used that once uh, to download all the games that had stuff you could download. It, it, yeah, no, I don't think I ever used it ever again. I honestly <laughs> completely forgot about that. I wish I'd. Uh, there's your recommendation for like if you got to download 28 of something, be it a book bundle or in this case, a music bundle, humble downloader. Boom. Yes. Done. Yeah. Better than the bulk download on their website, oh, which is yeah. terrible. That's the worst. The worst. Times, man. Uh, speaking of the worst, that's going to do it for uh, hopefully not the worst. We can do better. Four through three. Linux yeah. Gamecast. Oh, oh. man. <laughs> we got to get out of here, ladies and gentlemen. So I've kind of pre queued the music. Uh, checks out 8 30. Every night on Twitch, I'm Vin Stone. Uh, get a hold of me at Vin Stone on Twitter or uh, just at Vin on our Mastodon, mast.linuxgamecast.com or at twitch.tv forward slash linuxgamecast. Same with the YouTubes. Yeah. I'm Jordan Svung. I might have the <laughs> file extension of a zip file. I might have the magic number of a RAR file, but I'm actually atar.bz2. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at The Burning Fool or you can follow me on Twitch on twitch.tv slash burning fool. And I am a thoroughly boring human being. If you can figure out the tar command to uncompress me, please do send it my way because I could absolutely you can use, just it use it. Right? Wait a minute. What, what's just, command? <laughs> just to make you like fold up like a pretzel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yes, uh, at unaccounted four on Twitter if you'd like to, or uh, at unaccounted four with the actual number four on um, Soapbox Race World. Oh man. Are, are, are we gluttonous or glutinous? We can be yes. both. Don't limit yourself. I keep telling you, man, you're better than that. Expand your I'm, horizons. All right. I am bread then. Vigilant Viking is our advisor. Haplo, Justin, Mike, J, uh, Angel M, Barbara M, Scott, Mix, Fox Dog, Arthur, and Atomic Ass, and, and Mike G are our executive producers. Yeah, Mix Fox Dog. Dark MC and Dark Chicago kicks MC all Fox ass. Dog. Mm, it's very sexy. <laughs> Jack B, Dementor, Renault L, uh, Ryder X, Machina, and Trudgy, and Veritanuda, of course. <laughs> and all our lovely chillings. Ah, yeah, Sherving, Simcha, Jordan or Geek, Charlie, yeah, Michael C, Jay, Jay Martin, Noob, Maru, 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 and Steve Julie B, M, Steve E, Steve R, <laughs> so many Steve's, Jonas, 
We got a oh, plug PowerShell on Linux and pyramid. library TV yeah, slash Nixon Pyramid. Man, that was a strange part in deep. Assassin's Creed when Nixon's pyramid showed up. I was like, when when is giant this? zombie Nixon emerges from his pyramid, Dude, you starts know, shooting laser eyes. I'm not going to lie, it's kind of hot, but it really surprised me. <laughs> Bye. Send, send, send us your Richard Nixon porn. Also, yes. Five dudes. <laughs>